So I'll, I'll tell you right now where we're at. I don't, I mean, and you know, we're all in therapy now, <laughs> which, you know, it makes it easier for me because all, because also Mo did not want to say, so I was in a weird position. I'm not going to say too bad. Oh, I'm on a reality show. He's not it, yeah. signed up for the show. I see. He didn't even want to when it came out that we were having a problem. And I put that post on our Instagram. Mm -hmm. He didn't want me to say that we're having a problem. And even my daughter said, you can't do that. It's obvious. Mm -hmm. And he, it was, it's a lot psychologically. You know, mm -hmm. we've been together. I mean, I've been married almost my whole, entire adult life. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't even know what life is without being with Mauricio. Yeah. It's hard and it's painful and it's scary. And I'm like having to answer to these women who I don't know anything about their person. I have no idea what they do when they're, when they're not on camera. I have no clue, but they want to know what's happening in my bedroom. It's not fair. It's not fair. Mm -hmm. And I get, I've, like I've said, but um, we live together mm -hmm. in the same house in different bedrooms. Um, Is there another home too that he will go to? Like an apartment? We are fortunately, or... we fortunately are in the position where we have other homes. Yeah. And I, I so mean, he can go to the other home, you can go to the other home. Yeah, but we don't really. I mean, like he spent a lot of time in Aspen recently mm -hmm. while I was here. And then I went there um, for two weeks with our daughters. And, you know, if you didn't know us, you would think everything was normal. Because, right. you know, I'm making dinner, we're together, but we're in different Family. rooms, you know, uh, and I have my so, house in La Quinta, but no, we're not, it's not like you go here, I go there. But it's impo it's possible that the relationship is changing form, so it might just be a loving- It has changed yes, form. Yes, and it mm -hmm. just could be a very loving, close companionship, friendship, whatever. I want to throw something else in, too, because we both have very wealthy friends. What I have found is sometimes when a wealthy couple with lots of assets and businesses- they don't actually get divorced. They live separate lives because it's complicated to divide everything. Is yeah. that ever, does that ever occur to you and Mauricio? Like if this doesn't work, mm -hmm. do we actually get divorced and start splitting things up and try to sell businesses? I mean, that seems very complicated. Well, that sounds very difficult. Yes. Um, well, that's not what my main focus is. I mean, if, if we're not going to be together, um, I would get divorced 100 percent i would not live like that i w because psychologically i would need to move on i, I would it. never do that just for properties you know we did not have a prenup my husband did not have a penny when i married him mm -hmm. um i mean we had to you know his grandparents gave us you bet money. on him but you i mean that was a good bet he was in the clothing business when mm -hmm. i met him making no money and um you know my my mom lent us money when we were first married yep. we, we didn't well, there's one christmas we didn't have any money for christmas presents you know, um, my mom gave me money and then his grandparents helped us. So we built everything together. Yes. You know, and there is no prenup. I love when people say, oh, Kyle's just hanging. I love when I read these comments. Yeah. Kyle's just hanging there for his money. Honey, yeah. uh, he didn't have any money when I married him and it's our money. Mm -hmm. And, you know, let's be very clear about that. So, so you would it's want. It's very clean cut. It's, yeah. Everything is half regardless. So that's not an issue for me. And I, I mean, we would probably just keep our homes. We don't fight. We're not a toxic couple. Mm. You never would see fighting in our home ever. I mean that seriously. I'm not just saying that. Um, I asked my, we were talking about this with my kids the other day, and they said, we've literally never seen that. He said, like, getting annoyed with each other, and we're like, you know, but never fighting. It was not about that. So it would be, we just go our separate ways and maybe keep the houses. Yeah. It's kind of, I would imagine being married so long, it's kind of your identity. It's who you were. Oh, like you said, much. you spent your whole adult life mm -hmm. with this man. It's got to be really, really, really tough. It's really tough. I do yeah. feel like my entire identity is being a wife and a mom. And that's been really hard to wrap my head around, you know, and I'm, that's what I think part of my, like, you know, learning who I am without that, even though obviously you're, no matter what, I'm a mom, I have four daughters and they're my best friends. Um, but, but he's, see, but they're he's also, also my friend and I do love yeah. him very much. That's what's also hard. If it was one of these situations, you're like, oh, I can't stand this guy. This would be so easy for me. Of course. It would be mm -hmm. very easy. I can it's easier to be angry. Yeah. 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 And I can guarantee you, um, I do not want to be in this position. Mm -hmm. I never wanted to be in this position. Right. I thought I knew where I would be until the day I died. So that's a lot to process. Your whole life got turned upside down. My whole down. life. And obviously there were things. There were things that we had, you know, kind of dealt with since the beginning of our marriage that you kind of like put aside. You know, I was pregnant, nursing, baby, you know. Up, and then they'd come up again. And then you kind of get to a point where you're like, well, are we still dealing with that? And then, you know, were there things? Yes, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't be in this position I am today.